Yan Martel was born in Salamanca, Spain on June 25, 1963. His parents are Nicole Perrin and Emile Martel. His parents were French-Canadian descent. At the time of his birth, his father was a diplomat for the Canadian government. Throughout his childhood, Martel spent his time in Costa Rica, France, Turkey, India, Iran, Mexico, United States, and Canada. From 1981 to 1984, he attended Trent University, and then in 1985, he transferred to Concordia University. He majored in philosophy in 1985. After graduating, he worked many odd jobs, such as tree planting, librarian, working as a security guard and a parking lot attendant. At age 27, he fully committed himself to writing. After committing himself to writing, Martel published his first book in 1993. Soon enough, he moved up to India. In India, he spent a year and a half visiting mosques, temples, churches, and zoos. For another two years, he studied zoology, religious texts, and castaway stories. While in India, he wrote Life of Pi, which was published in 2001. He had also written Beatrice and Virgo. Both books contained settings of the places Martel had visited throughout his life. Life of Pi revolves around themes of survival and identity the beauty of animals, and three major religions, Islam, Hinduism, and Christianity. The book begins with Pai, much older now, telling a story of how he had survived for 227 days to an anonymous author. He emphasizes that his story will make him believe in God. Pai was raised as Hindu, but explored and found interest in Islam and Christianity. He began practicing three religions at the same time, every day. His mother was very supportive of him and wanted the best for a child. Pai's father owned a zoo, and that's how he became interested in animals. That time in India, things became difficult, and Pai and his family had to flee to Canada. A ship that Pai and his family were on started to sink, and Pai's whole family dies. All Pai's remaining is a lifeboat and a 450-pound Bengal tiger named Richard Parker. At his time at sea, Pai and Richard Parker arrive at the island, thinking that they were safe. He stayed on the island for a couple of days but soon realized that if he were to stay on the island any longer, he would die. Richard Parker and having religion is what helped Pi the most throughout his journey. Even though Pi was stranded at sea, he still found ways to make himself laugh and had enough faith in himself that he and Richard Parker would eventually get rescued. He never gave up on himself or Richard Parker, and that's what led to his ultimate rescue. Martel's second book, Beatrice and Virgo, was published in 2010. The novel is about an author, Henry, who is struggling to publish another book. He then receives a letter asking for help writing a play. He later visits a taxidermist who writes the letter and is told about a play that includes a donkey and a monkey named Beatrice and Virgo. Henry would go back every day to have the taxidermist read little tidbits of about the play that he had written. Henry was confused at first when he first heard about the play. But little did he know that the animals were a representation of the Holocaust. The major theme in this novel was using animals for human condition. Due to the fact that Jan Martel lived in many countries, he was able to put his life experiences into both of his novels, Life in Pi and Beatrice in Virgo. Martel was deeply interested in learning about the Holocaust, even though he had no personal connection to it. He moved to Germany and became interested in visiting concentration camps and researching more about it. Some key events from the Holocaust is what initially inspired him to write Beatrice and Virgo. Both Martel's novels, Life of Pi and Beatrice and Virgo, had the recurring theme of the beauty of animals, social and historical events as well as his own life events, impacted some of his major themes in Life of Pi and Beatrice and Virgo. The life experiences Martel had encountered throughout his life are clearly shown in his novels. He has written many novels inspired by his own events. Two of them happens to be Life of Pi and Beatrice and Virgo. Martel continues to travel around the world and is trying to find new ways to inspire himself as well as others around him.